Hi, welcome to Takumi Go. In this video, I would like to share this Jawsa key. After Black play the approach, White play this jump, and Black play this attach. This may lead to a lot of complicated variations, and this video would like to go for them with you. In this video, we will talk about three scenarios. The first scenario is that after White Tane, here, White play this block. This is scenario one. And scenario two, White play this tiger mouth. This will be scenario two. In these two scenarios, we are expected that there are no specific supporting stones for both sides. But for scenario three, let's talk about the case in the Chinese opening. In the Chinese opening, what if the black tried to capture the stone at the corner. What would be the variations? We will go through these three scenarios. And here is the spoiler. The classical Joseki is not good. So, let's start. Here, actually what AI would recommend the white plane now is this Hanet and extension. And normally, human would not like to play this. Because comparing this result to this attach, if white could play the attach, white could get more territories. But if white play the jump directly and let the black play the attach, then white lost some territories at the corner. But actually, this is fine for the white. Two. The reason is that there are two banners first for the white. Firstly, the black is less solid. If you play the attach after the hane and connect, the black could get a stronger shape. This is the first benefit of play the direct jump. And secondly, if you play the attach, the black may consider this side. If black think that the upper side is more valuable, this jump could prevent the black to get into the upper side. So, this is a Joseki. But today we will talk about this. We have the classical Joseki that after white block, black simply sacrifice it and play the extension. And there was a debate about if these are variations that really good for the white. For example, let's see this variation. This shape looks like this one. They are the similar. Then here, black extend and this block was exchanged as this move and this move. Normally, we believe this exchange in the opening should be better for the white because the white prevents the black to play some kind of invasion here by getting this block and white become more solid. However, here, black sacrifice two black stones here. What is the consequence of sacrificing two stones here? Let's see. For example, in the future, if white has a stone here, this peep may be a strong move. However, in this case, there are no longer any peep. Furthermore, here, white may play some kind of diagonal move at center. You don't know will this diagonal move become an effective move. But in this Joseki, you no longer be able to play this diagonal move. And there is one less liberty for these four black stones. This may have some negative effect to the fight afterwards. But as a whole, it seems very subtle and not important. So that, in human eyes, 
this is also one acceptable choice key for the black. However, AI believe that this choice key is very bad for the black. Golasi suggested that black lost around 5 territory points and more than 20% win rate in this variation. So, Golasi would not recommend this choice key. But if black don't play this kit and sacrificing these two black stones, what could black do? Black could hit here and capture this stone. Then white could extend. Black capture the corner and white get the two side and fight with these two black stones in the center. This would become a very complicated draw key. Although AI think the black is slightly better, but the variations it's very complicated. For example, let's see some AI suggestion. AI suggests the black play this and press and then attach here and keep on pressing here. After this, then press again this way again. I don't know what's going on. You, you can see that the AI is definitely trying to give pressure to this both white group but it's very complicated. The reason why this is very complicated is that this corner is not yet a live group. After white play this extension, this group is going to die. Because after black block, white will play the honey. Black could not block, otherwise white could capture it. But when black play here, white could play this. There is only one eye. So, this is not a living group yet. Then this will become very complicated. Also, let's see another example. Instead of playing this attach, black could also play this jump. Then after this exchange, black play here. Then white could play the attach. This is also some variation suggested by the AI, and it's very hard to control. I think the difference between AI and human is that the AI could calculate very deeply and analyze the game very comprehensively. For example, indeed, AI don't suggest the white to play this extension. AI think White could simply capture this and jump out. Human do not buy this idea, because human think that in the future white could utilize the life and death problem and play the extension here. But AI don't think this is a very effective approach, because even if the white tried to kill the black in the future, here there may be some escape around the bottom line, and then there are many liberties for the black. So the white may need to play some capturing race in the future. And also, it's not really a back corner. So instead of playing this extension, AI think that white may just simply play here and then jump out. Yet, in my opinion, if white play this extension, this is too complicated. In casual game, of course, I could try out these variations. But in tournament, I will be very cautious to choose if I'm really choosing this variation of the black. Even the black have a higher win rate. Here, that's all for the scenario 1, this block. A slightly better result for the black, but very complicated variation. And let's see. Scenario 2. White play this tiger mouth. First of all, we need to know the purpose of this move. The white wants the black to play this kit and play this block. Then this will become a variation like this. Does this look familiar with you? Actually, this shape 
looks similar to this. They look similar, but the white played this block. This is a variation that black has two stones. Black played a corner enclosure and white played this attack. But here, white didn't play a corner enclosure. But get a result, like the white already played a corner enclosure. This result is much much better for the white. And this is not acceptable for the black. But if black try to fight here, then black may need to be very careful. For example, could the white play the clam now? Or could the white play the cut now? Currently, if the ladder is good for the white, this cut will finish the game. Because if the ladder is good for the white, white will play the ladder and capture the three black stones. So this is a dangerous move. This tiger move is a dangerous move. But AI believe that. Actually, black could easily get satisfied result. For example, as the ladder is good for the black now, black could play this as I've suggested. Now, as the ladder is not good for the white, the black could capture the four white stones. This seems hopeless for the white, but actually, the white is not really that bad. Because the white could play here. And if black play this capture, then white will finish the squeeze. And this block is still a center. The black need to play a honey. Then, although this variation is slightly good for the black, as black capture too many territories, the white is not very bad. In the process, black may consider play this hit. If white capture, then this time, white cannot use this as a center. This is no longer a center. Then black is definitely better comparing to this. Right? This is a center. If black could play an Atari here, this would be a very good. However, if black play the Atari at this moment, white could play here. And the black could only capture, because if black play elsewhere, then the white would connect. The three black stones is being captured. The black could only capture this, and white could play the Hane. Then, the black will play this hit. So, the black black through the white corner like this. This is still a big success for the black. But, white also get a center and capture these two black stones. So, although a big success for the black, the white is far from losing. It's still an early game. And, remind again, if the ladder is not good, the black could not play this. So, the first choice for the black is to play the hit and play the ban, trying to capture the three white stones. But the good thing is that there are other choices that the black could easily satisfy. For example, black could hit this and then hit this and capture the corner. The white could play this and capture the two black stones. But the black is center, and the white shape, although it's solid, but not very efficient, so black is satisfied. Black is not bad. This would be an easy choice for the black to get the corner. And if the black wants outside, there is also other choice. The black could play the knight move here. And when the white play this tiger move, the black could play the band here. This time, the white could not play the harnet. Because this time, after the exchange here, the black could capture this here. The ladder is not important now. If the white try to play the ladder, the black could hit and then connect. 
White only has three liberties, and Black has one, two, three, four. So Black could capture the four stones in the middle. So after the band, the white need to play here, and the black could further utilizing the RG of these two black stones and play the knight move here, and play the extension. As the band is very valuable, the white will play the knight move. And AI suggested that this result is much better for the black. The black influence is very happy. So, to conclude, this move it's actually easier to handle for the black. There are many choices for the black that could be satisfied. But for this variation, this would be kind of complicated. Although the black should be slightly better, but this complicated. If black do not want to play this Joseki that was highly criticized by the AI. So, here was the suggestion. If you do not like complicated Joseki like me, I don't like. The black could play the back knight move here. And if the white play elsewhere, maybe like this one, then the black could play the attach here. And finish the Joseki. Black was satisfied. This time, if the white try to play this, if there is a supporting stone here, the black will not be afraid. After cut, the black could play here, the black could play here, and capture this. Although, after capture and play this hane, this still seems to be complicated as the black need to play the hane, otherwise the white could play here. But even if the white try to play something like this, in the next move, the black could cut and capture the three white stones. And if the white connect, black could play the honey. With one more stone, there is no reason for the black to afraid the fight here. So the large knight move could resolve the problems. And if the white play the attach, if black play the cornet, then this move is very ineffective. This is not good for the black. However, the black could simply tenuki and play the attach. These few stones already limited the development of the white corner and could help the black to develop the edge. So the value of further playing here decreased. Even if the white try to play the hane, the black could simply tenuki. This is not valuable anymore. Only in the later stage of the game, white and the black may consider playing the hane or the extension or the cornet or the cut here. Now the value of, of further playing here decrease. And these variations would be my suggestion for the black. A fast paced and efficient way to play. So Lastly, we need to talk about the case in the Chinese opening. The first choice for Golasi now is this jump. And we could still play the attach. It is still suggested by the Golasi. And at this moment, Golasi of course would suggest the wise to capture the corner. The AI liked the white more. But I don't like this, because I don't like that the black have chance to kill the white corner in the future. In this case, if the black play the jump, I would suggest the white to play the diagonal move, and diagonal move, and hane, and tiger move. This would become a Chinese opening Joseki. In the next move, this is very valuable, because if the white could play the hane, white could get many eye shape here and could capture these stones in the next move. So normally this capture is a must. And then the white could play the large knight move. This is a Chinese opening Joseki.
if black do not have this stone here, and this variation would be less efficient for the white, as the black could get solid territories here. So if there are no other supporting stones, I would suggest the white to play the large knight move. But if there are some supporting stones like in the Chinese opening, then the white could consider playing this diagonal move and diagonal move and getting a tiger move here. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and if you like the content, please click the like button and help me to share the content with other Go players.